Alright, hello everyone. I just wanted to show you today how to transfer files between a Mac computer to another Mac computer. And in this case, in my situation, I had all my photos and files, well, all my photos and videos on my Mac Mini, and I wanted to transfer them all over to my MacBook Pro because my Mac Mini was getting slow. And I tried to mess around with the like an external hard drive and that was just taking way too long for me and I also I was gonna try the firewire I think it's called but I couldn't find a cable so so this method is uh, strictly just on the computer and it's using the the iCloud so in order to do this and transfer files between computer to, com to computer you just go let's just go to settings here and you're going to have to do this on both computers. Just go settings, iCloud, and you're going to have to have an uh, operating system that of course has iCloud. Your your system must be updated to the point that it does have iCloud. And then you're just going to come here and make sure photos is checked on both computers. So you have this checked off and then go into options here and make sure that iCloud photo library is checked off. So this way your entire photo library will be stored onto the iCloud. So if you have if you have a bunch of photos all on one computer, which in my case I had all my photos on my Mac Mini, I set it so I had photos to sync with the iCloud, and then I set it also on my other computer too, but I'm pretty sure you only have to do it on, on the one computer. And then in this case I did, I mean, if you do have a, a ton of files and videos that like that requires a large amount of storage then you m may have to to upgrade here and, and go to like I think it's managed and then you might have to pay like but yeah you have to buy more storage I had to pay like a, a buck and a half but a buck and a half it's like a buck and a half a month so and all the my like the entire file transfer should only take a few days at least or depending of course on how many files you have but do that on both computers I had to pay a dollar and a half and it was done in like I think it was a week or two weeks but I had a lot of files or large files and videos so you do that on both computers and then there's also a way to check it and you go into your photos app then you go up, come up here to photos preferences and then make sure in, in iCloud here that it's checked off here and then um, you'll be able to see the progress because once you exit it here and you come down just go to the main photos tab and come down come down here where it says updated just now it'll it'll tell you on on the computer that you're transferring or that you're uploading the the files to the iCloud from it'll say how many photos you've 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 transferred and it'll actually tell you up in here as well there'll be a little bar that'll come across here and then you can also check by going onto your iCloud, of course, by just going to iCloud.com and then scrolling to the bottom, and it should be able to tell you. So, um, let's see. Let's go back to our photos here. And yeah, so that that should just take. It'll take probably I don't know. It depends, of course, on how many files ha files you have. And then um, what'll happen is all the photos will just go. Be uploaded to the iCloud, and then the iCloud, of course, is linked between all your your computers and your devices, right? So, if you have it the correct settings on your other computer, then your other computer will download them off of the iCloud, which is exactly what this computer did. Because I'm on my Mac Mini right now, or sorry, I'm on my MacBook Pro right now, and it just automatically downloaded all the files from the iCloud. And now I have all the files which were on my Mac Mini, and now they're on my MacBook Pro. So hopefully that helped. Um, if you have any questions, just comment below. And thanks for watching.